Recently, I, uh, I had an opportunity to purchase a vehicle that was kind of part of both the Royal Nye's childhood, a uh, 76 Dodge three-quarter ton pickup. Uh, it belonged to a guy named Butch Peterson. The very first Mopar I ever owned was because of Butch Peterson. Royal, you had a couple of Barracudas you 64 bought 64 and a half and a 65. That he bought from him. So, so the two guys you see, these two Mopar guys before you, both started into Mopars heavily was because of Butch Peterson. Anyway, we're getting ready to see if we can get the truck running. If we can get it running, we're gonna take the Aladdin out and give it a bath and do a little cruising around the neighborhood old school style. I don't think there's even a battery in it, is there? No. Uh, All right. Nope. I've got one on the charger. Wow. Wow, I don't think this has seen the light of day in quite some time. Recognize that? Oh, yeah. He never put it back on. <laughs> Neither did we when we were kids. The Dodge Power Wagon was released to the public in 1946, making it the first mass-produced civilian 4x4. It was based on a 1945 model used by U.S. troops in World War II. A ladder for a fat guy? Get the fork. What are you doing? I was going to take that off so we pour some down the carburetor. OK, but we need to put fuel in the car, too. Well, yeah. OK. Oh, that too. Strange little-minded human being, aren't you? Well, I, you're just not on the same page as me, buddy. No, I know it. Never have been. Dude. Are you looking at hooking a hose up to the pump, the fuel pump? Looks like a new fuel pump. What do you mean a hose? There's no hose going to it? Yeah. You want to hook a tank up to it or run the hose into a gas can from the pump? No. Oh, I, just put, pour gas in it? Go get the fuel can, the drum, and it's got a pump. Oh. And we'll just put fuel yeah. in the actual truck. He's lost his mind. I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. He, he wants to pour fuel down a carburetor to get it running, but we haven't even got the fuel yet. Mark's being Mark. So rather than just hook it up to the fuel pump, bypass all the problems, he wants to go through the fuel tank. That's OK. What Mark wants, Mark gets. You know, I've, I've been dragging cars out of backyards for 40 years. I Very rarely do you just fire one up and have it just work perfectly the very first time. Whoa. What the hell's that? I don't know. It doesn't sound like the motor. What the hell's that? That's a weird sound. <laughs> That's exhaust. That's exhaust? <laughs> That's exhaust? Oh, yeah, it's rattling the beat. Oh, God, look at that. You got to look at those, man. Those are some homemade mufflers. Oh, no. Look at that. Well, that's just insane. Where's the exhaust off the thing? I don't know. Why would you do that? Dude, why did we do the things we did to cars back then? I never did that. Well, you did some weird No, I never did any weird That was you. No? And I know you love that stuff. You love that kind of exhaust. But me, I, I'm more the stock guy. Where do you come up with this stuff? I come up with it from 1976. 1977, Plymouth Barracuda, 64 Dude, you were and a half. drunk from 75 to 85. Quit drinking in 83. No, I was drunk in 85. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What were you doing back then, Panama Red?